John Proxy on channel John and Wes. No, actually, I'm live on the internet and I'm about to begin an Until Dawn adventure. It's not really an adventure, is it? It's a <gasps> There we go. Expect lots of that to go on. Let's turn my sound up and possibly I should have my lights down. There's a face I recognise from Heroes. I've forgotten her name. I can't pronounce her name. It's like do have bonus content, but let's just jump let's jump into the new story, shall we? Let's not uh, abandon your current progress and start a new story. Yeah, let's just jump straight in. Butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly if flapping its wings we today must lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. So yeah, that's one of the uh, big features of the game, is little Little change is an effect. Well, there we go. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. as well. Well, it should be too big then. But it's a horror after all. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. I shall. Well, I'll try. There's the cabin. It's in the woods. It's snowing. So I got this on a whim. Um, hadn't really heard of it. Um, and then, you know, I saw the news. I think this is more for fun. Is that right? It's the end of that story. Now, if I turn the lights off, you won't be able to see me very well. But I might be a bit bright. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Come on, she deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. Um... I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Right. So, uh, if you're fighting to cliches, uh, this might be extra frightening. Hannah! <laughs> Ooh. We're all hiding. We're gonna scare our friends. Trust him, I've seen him in Shield. There may be Shield spoilers. Hey, I I you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. I mean, Josh. Yes. Are we all sleeping? Oh, I can control using the left stick. Go around in a big old circle. Actually, decisions matter, don't they? Well, I've been thinking about this. Um, I got this a day early. Hello, that's me, for the time being. I control everyone. There's two ways I can go about making these decisions. One, I can sort of see what naturally comes to me, right? I just act as I would in that situation. It's a bit strange, because I'm going to be eight different people. Or I can sort of use my knowledge of horror cliches and try and avoid horrible, horrible death for everyone. So, I saw something outside. My senses tell me not to investigate outside. Look at this. Oh. So, um. Let's nudge these people. Let's have a look around. The game looks fantastic, by the way. Uh, there's one thing this has got going for it. It looks excellent. Uh, so I should be getting in a hiding spot, shouldn't I? Because I'm going to play a horrible trick on my friend. But I could look outside. There's a fire. Is everyone like, no, you've taken bloody ages at this. Could you just sit down or something, please? Well, they just sleep. I thought we were hiding. Okay, there's some bottles over there and a light. And we're going to go, tutorial. Use the right stick to look around. Objects 
can that glint can be inspected so I can inspect that that there well I mean I can inspect it but I mean how uh, X R2 to pick up the bottle yes I turned off more motion controls I'm having none of that All right, that's Jemiah Crag since, since 1794. Jeez, Josh. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh, so, oh, hang on, are these people actually listening? Are these different set of teens to the ones a second ago? I should be looking at stuff like that. There's a note. Let's investigate the note. Using R2, of course. I've got to turn it. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you'd look even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, I oh see you. Oh, my ya. God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh, I see. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. I've got your note. Glad you can make it. Oh, yeah, they're the sisters. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. This is totally how teenagers act. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? That's what a are you selfie doing stick. Here? I've heard oh. of those. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all gonna happen. Just a stupid Ah, uh, oh, there she's the nice one. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! It's a horrible thing to do, but I mean, I would have tried not making any noise until after. I mean, as a teen, I mean. See, I'm not really a teen. Uh, so let's wake Josh. Hang on, light stick. Yeah, we're going to wake Josh. Josh! Josh! I'm not gonna wake Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What is... What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. All right, press the correct action button before the time oh, runs out. Right, I've just been playing Xbox. This might be confusing. Hopefully, they align them, align them at the correct point of the screen. So uh, let's take the safe route. Actually, I got a damn. No, no uh, I know. The difference now. I remembered. Uh, the safe route has less or slower button prompts, but you might miss events, as, as I think. I think that's how that works. Right, uh, follow footprints. That's right stick. Not a tracker, but... Oh, look! There's some animals! Oh, that's lovely! I mean, that's... Well, that's looking for the sister, obviously. But, uh, are these the footprints on the toilet? Fuck, shit. This is just a tutorial, though, so... Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? It was foolish for her to run into the woods, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Use the touchpad as shown. Yay, I successfully turned on my phone! Uh, left Hannah. stick. Okay, I can, I've got a status update. I can direct the light using the right stick. Oh look, yes I can. So I can have a look, proper look around. Using my phone light. She's got a pretty decent phone light. Uh, the, nowadays they might all be decent. Get some birds. The only downside to recording this is, presumably speaking, uh, I'm sort of making it less scary by just talking and stuff and pretending I've got an audience. 
Oh, good, I'll look around. There's a buck. I want to walk faster. The time is of the essence. It's cold out here. Hello? Hello? I mean, I've got woolly clothing on, but it doesn't look like the warmest of clothing in the world. What's this? Ooh, attention. R2. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to turn it. Right, that's a death totem. How oh, on? Alright, uh, Black Death. Possible death of a person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believed that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future uh, event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. So let's inspect it. So found on a mountain by death. That's, that's been cracked over a rock. But is that because I fell over? There's a mystery man. I've got no clues. Uh, something happened in 1965. There were twins. Uh, I know uh, these are the twin girls. Uh, this is Beth. So I've got a current objective, which is to find Hannah, which I've currently really got my face in front of. And um, she likes Hannah's her sister, right? And I assume uh, Josh was the person she was trying to wake up. Uh, Sam? I don't know who Sam is. But she's a curious person. She's curious right now. I look at her character traits. I don't know how important it is to know this. Butterfly effects, any of your business. Rats or bush tails. I don't know what any of this means. But uh, there doesn't seem to be too many of these. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Let's go back. Let's see if I can actually remember. Uh, no. That's okay. R1 does that. I can move that with the right stick. Um, no, I don't want to say any commands. I'll have to look around while that goes away. So I don't want to be. Uh, well, I don't want to fall and uh, break my back on a boulder. Terrible way to go. Anyway, it goes terrible for us. I think we're going to try and keep as many people as alive as possible. I don't think it's possible to keep this girl alive or her sister. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe they're horrible murderers, and that's the twist at the end. Who knows? I don't. I genuinely have no idea. Again, I sort of bought this on a whim, and I'm sort of glad I know nothing. And well, that was fire. Was now, uh, John, John Proxy and John the West would run the hell away from that fire, because that's freaky. There is also something right there. Do I go towards the fire or that thing? I'm going to go towards that thing. Anna. Anna. There we go. Hello? Anna. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, back. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Right. I don't even have what being chased. We've lost our phone. Of course we've lost our phone. Wow, this is quite a predicament. No! No! Shit! No! Get out! No! Oh, not yet. Okay. Now, there appears to be a fire breathing monster above us. Could be a helpful. Let's. Might. Okay. Uh. Let go. I'm not gonna drop Hannah. We both go together. Alright, let's. Alright. Uh. It might be both dead. It might have been a foolish action. 
if I had dropped the sister, then I might have been able to save the other one. But, uh... I don't think she would have done that. But, who knows. If I play this again... Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. He's looking a bit younger, that guy. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Okay. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Will you talk to me directly? <laughs> so, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Okay, that's, that's, that's nice of him. All right, Jones. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cart? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, okay. it is essential you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Right. Well, he seems like a trustworthy fellow. But, uh, before I do that, I just want to double check the time. I've been recording for about 20 minutes. It's nice in there. Right, R2. Let's grab it up. I've got a glove on, so I can't tell who I am. It's a farmhouse with a scarecrow. Uh, that's nice, isn't it? It's a creepy scarecrow, but it's a scarecrow. Right, there we go. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Well, it, was, it makes me happy, it was very nice. Well, that's good. In what I mean, way was, did it make you happy? Well, it seemed kind of tranquil, didn't it? Uh, it's peaceful. There we go. I'm just uh, going to try and be as honest as possible. Interesting. That's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? No, no, it would not. It looks like a lovely place to visit, but. And why is that? I'd be. Hmm. Why well, be stranded? Uh, I don't know if I'd be scared. No, I'd be lonely. There we go. Wouldn't be that lonely. I'd get over it. There is a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Well, a week would do it, I'm going to say. Be this honest. is something we need to explore further. Don't you agree? Uh, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Until the next session, try to surround yourself with friends. <laughs> a place that makes you feel safe. Okay. What a pleasant fellow. It's interesting seeing that. I mean, there's a few actors I recognise. Obviously, he's in um, Prison Break. And obviously, there's the girl from Heroes. Dude from S.H.I.E.L.D. There's a couple of others I recognise. Super Massive Games. Till dawn. Presumably that's when the game ends. That's her name. Hayden. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the uh, psychiatrist. <laughs> Brett Dalton is the guy from Steve Malik. Mr. Robot Eric as well. Yeah, I don't know anyone else. I guess they're the most the highest paid actors in this. Although, I mean, Mr. Robot's new, so 
Well, I guess you changed the order last time. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, well, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project, and England was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, Aww. you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> I'm not not entirely sure that something would act like that, but I'll, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. I mean, I mean, if it was me, I wouldn't go anywhere near that cabin ever again. Death. Of course, it, it can't be just like a cabin. It has to be an entire episode. You've got to do an entire game's worth of stuff here. So I'm very interested in how this works. Uh, it's obviously going to be somewhat reminiscent of Heavy Rain. Uh, and the game that Two Souls, to think anyone played that, I, I didn't. I mean, I don't know. I'm not everyone. I can't speak for everyone. Memento Mori. I should know what that means because uh, obviously memory and Mori, uh, like mortal, remember life, I guess. Remember to live. I've, I've, it's a phrase as well, but um, should like cherish life, I guess, or something like that. There was a dude with a sword there. There's uh, Sam, that's Hannah's best friend. She's considerate, adventurer, and diligent. Um, and obviously that's a uh, Hayden. Well, it's a, a, a rough approximation of her made with, with computer graphics. It's pretty impressive. I can recognise the actress. Let's continue, shall we? Hello? So if there was anyone who seems Someone like a there? character, it would seem to be uh, Hannah. I uh, path to the cable car station 2102. See, I placed myself here because I thought I wouldn't be standing in the way of things. But, uh, yeah, let's... Why are we up the mountain on creepy night? Like a year after two girls went missing? I can, uh... Use the right stick to move the camera, of course. Have a look around. Uh... I speed up. 
What's this? Can I? There's a gate there. I don't want to miss anything that's important. Also, I don't want to dwell, but I feel like I should be fine early on, probably. The gate's busted. Climb over. R2. Oh, no, 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 no. What does that say? Yo, how do I get there again? From Chris sent to Josh Washington. So Chris sent a message. So this is me leaning in. Because that's a good, that's a clever way of keeping secret information. So uh, Chris got directions. Off oh, with Josh. Now, even though he just told you they were busted. Right, let's try up there then. So I might not want to take the first thing I see. Let's test out quick. It's only a wall. There we go. That's pretty quick. Good climb. I'm not jumping. Right. So mistakes can be made. I have to be careful when I drink the pool here. That was just a test, right? Let's have a good look around. What's this ground? Just the snow. It's very atmospheric. I like it. It looks beautiful, this game. I'll give it that. They're definitely use this engine again. Oh. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> there we go. I didn't move. That that was good. I've been told that some people have been struggling with that. Don't move. If you aren't sure what to do next, you can press R one. It'll tell me the objective. It's R one, John. Right. So, I'm pretty uh. I'm trying to head to the cable car station, but I'm um, pretty brave, uh, charitable, and honest. So yeah, like the twins, they can find clues about the twins and stuff, and that makes more sense. So black is death, uh, yellow is guidance, brown is loss, there is danger, and white is fortune. So yellow and white seem to be quite good. There we go, and I guess these are major decisions, it's hard to tell. Let's continue onwards. I feel like my face should be on the other side. Nothing's been down there yet. Right, the start is going on, that's the annoying thing. And I don't want to... What's that? this say? <laughs> cool. There we go. It's, it's a, so death, uh, black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Red butterflies, oh they're butterflies, that's interesting. Warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold the tragic effect of friends. I literally just read this but um, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide and white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy. There we go. And there's guidance. So let's pick it up. That's not how you pick it up. Yes. So how do I pick up that token? R2? So this will give me some guidance, I believe. So the third. All right, hang on, that, that wasn't very clear. Let's look that look at that again. Uh, the future is not certain. Whether or not prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1 at any time to view your token collection. So I have one guidance. Uh, Uh, 
there's a crawling dude. I don't know how that would help it in the slightest, but we'll see if it makes sense. There's a sort of table. There's something sneaking up on me, possibly. Oh, that's going to be somebody sneaking, right? That's going to be a harmless one, I imagine. Let's go. Check time. Right. I don't want to turn around and die. Let's read what that sign says, shall we? The past is beyond our control. Oh, she's got to read it. It's more important than me reading it, right? Wow, graffiti all the way up here. And that's a map as well, so we can sort of see the lodge. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a little village up here, isn't there? Right. See if there's anything interesting over here. I feel like I'm relatively safe, but obviously the game needs to prove there's danger. Look at those mountains, isn't it nice? But yeah, there's Chris, a bag. You here? Bag's here. Where are you? Oh. Not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? It's a phone, I believe. Let's snoop. That's a butterfly effect. Ah, look who it is. One new message. He knows it. <laughs> Chris. Has a crush on Ashley. Humorous, protective, and methodical. And creepy looking. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well. Thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. I think that's what a normal person would do in that situation. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. So that was a message from Ashley. Right around here. Going to blow your mind. That's oh, fine. There's no reason. Not to at the moment. The game can be creepy, but the people have no reason to be creeped out. Okay. Oh man, look at this. Okay, Mil Victor nice. Milgram. Okay, uh, Blackwood Pines. Wanted oh, in connection with first degree arson offence. Oh, I see. As well as various death threats. Anyway, see, I think he might have been trying to help. And I think if I put a hand out, if I dropped one of the sisters. Then he might have pulled one up to safety and he's a red herring. That's my my little guess there. Because it's not going to tell you who the murderer is immediately either. So, uh, R1. Alright, there we go. Torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Somebody didn't want people to see this. Oh yeah, because he got ripped. I see. Um, uh, so if we know anything, we should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. That's the provincial mounted constabulary of Blackwood. So I'm going to... If I was a guessing man, I'd say that's a goodie. And that he was secretly trying to help and that I should have dropped my sister Ta -da. pretty rad right yeah come on look at these beauties uh beauties is not the word that comes to mind why is this even here what do you mean w what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge uh dude have you ever met Josh's dad yeah he thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Right, uh, Chris. Okay, R. Uh, right stick. 
R2 to shoot. Right. Let's get all these done. Wow, nice shooting tips. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Don't shoot a squirrel, it's horrible. Fly effect. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Butterfly effect update. All right, I'm curious. Right, I'm now Chris. So let's press. So he likes Ashley, Josh, Sam. I don't quite know who everyone is yet. Like, was that? That was Ashley. I was just with. No, because he, he just got a text from Ashley, didn't he? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. But he's uh, he's funny, charitable, and curious. But, um... I want to look at the butterfly effect, so I don't know why I didn't spin the other way. So... There we go. So Sam, uh, it's Sam, looked at Chris's income message, and Sam was offended by Sam's indiscretion. Now Chris was offended. Is there more pages of this? It feels like I'd be going through them really quickly. Uh, Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. There's a bird there as well. Nature remained in balance. There you go. It's interesting that it tells you. I'm not shooting the squirrel. It's horrible. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it all came running back. Here goes fast. So, yeah, I guess he would have been a little offended by me then looking at his phone. But it could have been an important message, I don't know. That's Maybe I'll really wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That seems likely. I'll go with that. I know he's made it sound too bit shifty, but that's sort of the point, isn't it? For you. Oh, real gentleman. But one of the things I was worried about is that modern horror films like don't make these people very likable. But they seem, I mean, at the moment they seem kind of. At the moment they seem kind of likable, like normal. The car was they don't look like teenagers. They look like they're like in their early twenties. Uh, the earliest. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Look at that, look at his feet. Yeah, I don't like... Let's read what that. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how Hotel rich you are. Hotel and sanatorium. Alright. Uh, let's... Have a look around. A big old nose. What is that? That seats? What's going on there? I mean, that was showing something else earlier. 
Oh, come back. There's more here. There's more here. Oh, maybe there isn't more here, but. One more. And the inter master looking at his head. Oh, hang on. Is that just the computer again? Can I use my hand to grab stuff? I mean, there's that piece of pickle. I know I've got no reason to snoop around. Like, I'm. It's gameplay reasons that make me want to continue onwards. Right. And I can speed up. Let's get outside then. But I'm genuinely surprised there isn't more things to click on just yet. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Right. Uh, let's get this. Prom sounds amazing. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? I mean, you know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. I we like the idea because he would. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? I mean, it's a terrible idea. Bro, good talk. But you would, you know, if somebody asked, you would. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right like now. Feeling. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Butterfly Boom. effect. There we go. Butterfly effect. There we go. Head of the curve. How'd you like that? Oh, well, they have to teach people the concept, right? Just in case. And is Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, and, uh, she's trusting, confident, and her friend. Uh, yes. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. So she wasn't even there. Right, let's see if there's anything to pick up and look at. Ah. Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I still have to get used to that. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris! <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Alright, let's explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. 
There we go. So we caused that by looking at his phone. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, why wouldn't? Sam? Why would you? <gasps> Did you see this view? There are a couple. I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. All right, I get it, game. Look at it. Take it in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? This is Emily, Mike's ex. Resourceful, persuasive, and intelligent. And Mike's ex. I know who I Mike is. would have been like as pretty. This is Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, motivated, and active. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? I think you've got one, will you? Right. Let's make our way. Let's check the time. Uh, I need to move that closer so I can see better. Um, but I'll get... Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not going to feel like a regular party. No, I suppose not. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> There's Mike. He's intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost... Jump scares! <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. That's I get it. I don't want to make this weird. The cool. mature way to go about things. So we're good? Go to try. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Okay. See you, man. See ya. an animated character, isn't it? See ya. Right, so yeah. I had the choice to be all aggressive. Oh, Felt like that probably what? wouldn't have helped. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Uh Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. Somebody You're gonna protect here, me lass. from it being dark out. I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really uh, think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank um, you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Hi, if I was a, um, a cynical man, uh, and I guess I am, I guess I am a cynical man, I'd say that she's not entirely trustworthy. But, I mean, that's cynical. That's a cynical thing I'm thinking right there. There's Ashley. She has a crush on Chris. She's inquisitive, academic, and forthright. Which one's Chris again? I'm going to have to look all these up. Somebody's got a crush on Ashley as well. There we go. Whoa, hello. 
Yeah, that's... Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I also narrate to myself. You know what? I am literally talking to myself right now, so I probably... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my god! Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking it's at? It's gonna get old very soon. Anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. I don't... Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Right. I if I lie... Ah. Son of a bitch! I know I've caused problems. Seriously? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. I mean... I could have hit that from him. But I felt like being honest was a good idea. And it might be just nothing. We don't know. Let's check the phone. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Let's grab a snowball. Well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! Yeah! I remember the button. You know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah! Right, this is going to be more hey. important later on. Oh, snap! She has the snowball skills. I feel like he might be not in, he might not be enjoying this. Something doing something you can't hide not from doing me, something Michael. is the right thing to do. I know all your tricks. There we go, don't hit the bird. No, it's good. I'm not trying to snap all of the bird. So yeah, sometimes not doing something is the right thing to do. Whoa! Ow. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh, so this yeah. game is going to punish me for attacking oh, random down. animals. <laughs> Even with snowballs. Gotcha. Done. Done city. That's cheating. So That's not in snowball down. rules. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh, I guess this would be nice. Oh no, no, I'm in a horror. Anything that's almost anything like sex is it's gonna doom people. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Well, then the quote would be making the freezing to death out. There we go. A little bit of romance. Maybe this isn't a horror. Maybe I've misconstrued this. Maybe it's going to be a weekend about people having a lovely time. Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? I think I should let people go. I think this is a good time to pause. Why? 
I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. I don't know how to pause this game. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. I don't want to skip anything accidentally. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Right, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I've been John Proxy live, and I've been having a an until dawn adventure. I'll see you guys next.